In a market with many phones to choose from, it's not really about the fastest processor or the brightest screen. It's all about the cameras. The Google Pixels have long been applauded for their excellent picture quality, but the Apple iPhone 14 Pro takes Apple's photo game to the next level. The iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max feature a powerful new 48 megapixel main sensor. It's joined by a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera that's nearly twice the size, a 3X telephoto lens, and a true depth camera with a faster aperture. Meanwhile, the Google Pixel 7 Pro packs a 50 megapixel main camera along with a 12 megapixel ultra wide shooter and a more powerful 5X telephoto sensor. So, which will come out on top as the camera king of the smartphone world? Let's take a look. You can see very comparable results in this photo of the Bryant Park fountain. Both phones deliver excellent images. However, when you take a look at the water, the iPhone 14 Pro Max delivers a sharper image, and the plant in the foreground is more vibrant. Check out the bottom of each light in this photo of stained glass lamps. They're much more visible through Google's camera, while they're a bit too dark in the iPhone shot. The colors come off richer in the Pixel's image as well. It's just a better exposed photo. The Pixel is the clear winner in this one. There are some things I like about the Pixel 7 Pro's shot of this carousel better. For one, the lights are more distinct while they get a bit blown out on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I can make out more of the blue sky, which is a bit too bright on the iPhone. But overall, I prefer the iPhone's image here because of the brightness, but also the contrast in the carousel. It could be Apple's photonic engine at work here, but it captures a considerably brighter selfie of me. Also noteworthy is how much sharper the North Face logo is on my jacket on the right side of the frame. The Pixel 7 Pro smooths out my wrinkles a bit more, which isn't a bad thing. In portrait mode, I was surprised that the iPhone 14 Pro Max overexposed the left side of my face. The Pixel 7 Pro offers a more even exposure, as you can make out more of my blue coat on the right side of the shot. The blur effect around the leaves in the background looks better through the Pixel as well. So what about this ice skating rink photo? Overall, the iPhone 14 Pro Max delivers a brighter and more inviting image. The people skating pop more on the iPhone shot, while they kind of blend in with the ice on the Pixel 7 Pro's photo. The iPhone 14 Pro Max runs a bit warm, but this is the shot I'd rather share. Which cranberry apple tart do you think looks more delicious? In this case, I'm drawn to the Pixel 7 Pro's photo. Both phones leverage their ultra-wide cameras to take macro shots, but I prefer Google's image here because of the sharper details in the cranberries and crust. This photo of the Empire State Building at 3x zoom is a close round. I like the moodiness of the Pixel 7 Pro's photo and the fact that the area around the spire is sharper where the light is coming from. But once again, there's a blue cast to the image, and the sky is darker in the photo than in real life. The sky in the iPhone 14 Pro Max's image is warmer and more realistic, and the blue haze is kept to a minimum. In this nighttime shot, you can make out the people in the photo more easily and also check out the right side of the frame above the ESPN sign on the Pixel 7 Pro. The angled glass panes aren't even visible in the iPhone 14 Pro Max's photo. There's a bit of a blue cast to the Pixel shot, but overall, it does a much better nighttime image. Both phones take a great photo of these white begonia flowers, but the iPhone 14 Pro Max's image is even more detailed. Check out the petals. They almost look translucent with the way that the sun is hitting them, but I also like the brighter white in the Pixel 7 Pro shot. So in this case, it comes down to details versus color. In this ultra-wide photo of a nearby stream, I give the nod to the iPhone 14 Pro Max in this case because of the brighter greens on the left side of the image. There's also more gradation in the sky. The large tree in the water also gets a bit lost in the pixel photo. Overall, the iPhone 14 Pro Max appears to take the crown as it offers brighter and more vibrant images in our testing. I also prefer the iPhone's contrast in most scenarios. However, the Pixel 7 Pro shines in low light and it took a better looking macro shot and portrait. You can't go wrong with either phone, and a lot of it will come down to price, as the Pixel 7 Pro costs $200 less than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Be sure to tell us what you think in the comments, and let us know which camera phone wins for you, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonauer.